Okay. So the task for today is you're going to use Note Flight music notation software to input the score that I've given you, which is Joy to the World. So that you know, I've chosen Joy to the World because you'll probably be familiar with the melody and you'll be able to hear whether it sounds right or wrong. But I've only given you a little part of it. If you want the whole score, so it's like five pages or so, if you want to have a go at doing the whole piece of music, the score is available on Edmodo on our class page. And also the link to NoteFly I've put up on Edmodo um, over here. The address is surdon college marylandssitesnotefightcom um, And just, I spoke to you about this last lesson, but nonetheless, the username for all of the students is your first name and your surname. So first name with a capital first letter of whatever your name is and capital letter of your second name with a space in between it. All right, so first name, surname, and the password, the default password is one, two, three, four, five, six. When you log in for the first time, it's gonna prompt you to change the password. So I'm gonna jump into NoteFlight and just show you what it looks like over here. Once you've logged in, uh, yours will look a bit different, like mine's got all the students' accounts and so on because I'm a teacher, but what you'll need to navigate to is the new score button which is over here. So I'm gonna click on new score because I wanna create a brand new piece of music. And to start with, it's gonna say what instruments you wanna have. And I'm just gonna say, you know what, I just wanna have it blank to begin with. So I'll give it a moment. Um, you can see that it was setting up over here. You can actually start by choosing different instruments straight away, but I'm gonna select start from a blank score sheet and go okay. This piece of music is written for three guitars, a piano, a bass, and drums. But what I want you to do, and you'll notice that I've written it in, in pen, instead of a guitar, I want you to use a flute for instrument one. Instead of violin, I want you to use, sorry, instead of guitar two, I want you to use flute. But guitar three, keep as a guitar. And that way you've got some different instruments to use. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go staff, and I'm going to change the instrument. Because my first instrument I want it to be a flute. So I need to navigate to where flute is. Flute is a woodwind instrument. So I'm gonna click over here and go flute. And it just says what name do you wanna put, flute and what abbreviation and so on. That's just leave it as a default and go okay. And I'll plug in my speaker so that you can hear this as well. So at the moment, that piece of music is just a blank piece of flute music. Right, it hasn't got anything in it. But your task for today is to put the note in. So I want you to actually go in and put the note in. A couple of things I've noticed about Note Flight. One is that it's got different <coughs> versions of it depending on the browser that you're using. So at the moment I'm using Google Chrome. The best version is to use the one down the bottom here that says um, HTML editor. I think it's the most recent version. The Flash version is for older browsers if it's not supporting. So if it looks a little bit different to when you log in, Go to the view and change it to the HTML5 and that'll be fine. But this is really easy because over here, what I need to do is put the notes that are on the score here into here. And I'm going to start, at the moment I've just got rest. The first note that I've got on my score is a minimum. So I'm going to click on the minimum rest at the moment. But as soon as I type in the note, or if I put my mouse, I can put that note in like that. And the first note to C, so let's put the note in there. The second note is a B and it's a dotted crotchet. So I'm gonna go over to where that rest is and click on crotchet, click on the dot and go B. Oops, like that. And then my last note over here is a quaver which is an A and I'm going to click on an A there. So at the moment I'm using the mouse to put everything in. But a quicker way to do it is that you can just select the notes here the next note, by the way, is a G, a dotted minimum G. So I'm going to click on a minimum and click on a dot. And instead of finding the note by doing this, I'm just going to type the letter G on my keyboard, which puts it in for me. And this speeds up the whole process because now, if you watch, I can do this way quicker. And a dotted one over here. Okay. So at the moment, I've got the very first line of the flute part. And if I uh, press the listen button over here, I'm able to hear back. Very pretty. So now, 
I'm going to add my second instrument and you continue on, right? By the way, to add bars, um, there's a little plus button that appears over here somewhere. Where is it? Uh, when it comes up, I'll show you. There's a little plus button and that's how you can add bars. But the thing I want to do is add the violin part. So I'm going to go to staff and I'm going to go add a part below the one that I've already got. Click on add part below. The violin is a bowed instrument. I'm going to go violin. Uh, let's go solo violin and go OK. And now, oops, no, don't do that. Stay on this page. Now I've got my violin part. And I'm going to start putting the notes. This one starts on a C. So I'm going to click on a minimum and type C. Notice how the sound changes as well. Then we've got a dotted crotchet for a B and then an A, and then a G for a dotted minimum. Oops. By the way, if you make a mistake, you can use the arrows on the computer to find whatever note it is. Okay? So there, uh, E minimum, and then C. Let's do that much there. That one's a dot, so let's go back. By the way, I'm using the arrows to select the different notes. I'm going to put a dot on that one. And now if I press play, have a listen. Now, to finish up with, I'm going to add one more instrument. And I'm going to add a part below. And we're going to add the guitar. The guitar is a plucked string instrument. Uh, let's go an acoustic guitar. And go OK. Oops, I put it in the wrong place, but that's all right. Um, can I undo that? Yes. All oh, right, what I had, notice, by the way, when something's orange, it means that it's selected. And I had selected that note um, and told it to put a, the instrument below it. So it did, it put it below the flute. But I actually want it below the violin. So what I'm going to do is click on one of the violin notes and then go staff, add part below the staff. Uh, what did we say? Plucked, acoustic guitar, okay. This one is all crotchet, C, G, D, G. So I'm going to go uh, click on my crotchet, C, oops. By the way, a quick shortcut if you want to jump up and down an octave is to press command or control on the Windows machine and the up or down arrow. So if I press command and up, it jumps an octave, command and up again, octave. All right? I want that one. C, oops, octave, uh, octave, so notice that this one's playing it around a bit, and then E, and then G, and then C, and then F, oops, sorry, I'll turn that down because that's quite loud, isn't it, F, uh, anyway, let me play what I've got so far. Pretty good, hey? Now, really importantly, one thing that you need to do, if I leave this web page, because it's all online, right? If I leave this web page without saving it, it just loses it. So I'm going to give it a title by clicking where it says title and go joy to the world. And I'm going to go um, save, right? Click on save. It's now saving my score. Uh, one other little trick, the undo button doesn't work as a sh keyboard shortcut, so that down here is undo. And if you need to make the score bigger or smaller, you can use the magnifying glasses to make it bigger or smaller. When you log back in to NoteFlight, whenever you keep working on it, yeah, I'm gonna leave this page. What you'll find is that there's a section that's got your scores already in there. So if I go to scores, Oh, where have I got it? Uh, sorry, home. Um, and my scores, notice that it's got my scores. You can share them and things like that. But here is Joy to the World. If I click on Joy to the World, it should load up the bit of music that I've got. You can access this from any computer at home or at school or overseas. And I believe it works on tablet devices as well. What I want you to do is to have a go at copying that you're the sheet into NoteFlight because your assignment that's going to happen later on is going to be using all of this. It doesn't matter if you make mistakes with it. This is a bit of playtime for you to learn how to use the software.
Do we have any questions, girls? Does it make sense? Are you ready to go? Let's do it.